Welcome to Open eChrist Trader Training. My name is Toby Gennaro, and what I'll be talking about today are some tips on how to configure charts in OEC Trader. So if you happen to be using some of the standard chart setups, here's how you can customize and use the charts to your own liking. And what we're looking at here are just three charts from our standard Trade with Precision chart setup. So really the same configuration across these three charts. They're just presented in a little different way depending on how we manipulate some of the parameters. So and for instance, in this chart right here compared to these other two, we just have a different candle structure that you can select just from a drop-down box like this. And you have a number of different options on how you want those candles to look. Within Trade with Precision, we prefer uh, this type of a traditional candle setup on these two charts just because it relates better to what we're teaching in the Advanced Education course in terms of our trading strategies because we're actually using the body and the wick of the candle to get into certain trades and to trigger certain trades. But on the first chart here, you can use a different uh, candle configuration for those folks that might be trading a little bit differently. And you can also annotate the chart uh, quite easily. So you have a toolbar right here on the left-hand side that you can utilize to do that. Uh, one of the things that you can do is you can utilize an arrow. As you see trades beginning to set up, you can start to annotate those charts to kind of get things uh, aligned visually for yourself. So you can identify that setup in terms of uh, the direction that you want to go on the trade. You can also look for support and resistance levels just by getting in some of those levels with a, a very clean uh, straight line that's easy to identify. And you can attach uh, then targets to those lines so as price hits some of those uh, support or resistance lines you can get an alert tied to that. And on this next chart, you'll notice that it looks a little bit different. Uh, just the candles are different, obviously. But also we have uh, the price action, and the latest bar is there's a little bit of a margin here, and it's away from the price action. If you notice here, it's right up against the price action. And what you do to get that, if you like the look of that, is just come over to View, and then go down and click on Right Margin. And if you click on that now, it'll obviously collapse that margin. But if we go back and click on it again, you'll see that it'll place that margin right back in there if we scroll over. And then every bar that sets up is going to have that built-in margin right there if you like the look of that a little bit better. Another thing that you can do if you'll notice uh, on OEC Trader, the default is uh, this bar is locked uh, in place, meaning that anytime you try to scroll through historical data, uh, after a certain time limit, it'll automatically snap back to the most current bar. So to keep that from happening, all you have to do is go up here and click on this lock latest bar button. And that basically will give you then free flowing movement throughout the price data without always snapping back to the latest price action in case you're looking for patterns in the past you might be looking for some things that you were back testing or or what have you are looking for prior support and resistance levels better to do that while the um, uh, while the lock is off as opposed to on one other thing that's a little bit different about this chart is we have two contracts on the same chart kind of a unique feature with uh, with OEC trader but on the right hand side here, the default contract here is going to be the ES contract for the S&P 500 futures. And then on the left side, what I did was just added another overlay contract, which is the YM contract for the Dow 30. And what that will do is it'll give you obviously both price levels on the same chart. It'll overlap the candles for you. And the way that I'm getting that, and, and most of the way you can configure this chart is through this toolbar right here at the top of your charts. And then there's some additional uh, configuration items if you just click this little drop down button and you'll get a whole host of other items then they'll if you scroll over them it'll just give you the tips so if you scroll over this one it says add contract you click on that you can go in and search for your symbol and then you have a number of different options once you find the symbol that you want the one I used was just to overlay the existing contract that I had and so what it does is it just puts it directly over the ES contract so if we go ahead then and start to zoom in on some of that you'll be able to see that there are two different candles within the same column that represent both the right and the left column in different contracts. Okay, so a little bit different way of uh, looking at things. Some people want to look for setups on the ES and if they're already in a trade on the ES then they want to maybe take it on on the YM contract. So a little different way to do things. Also the nice thing about the zoom in and zoom out feature you can see as when you're zoomed in uh, it's very nice once you identify a trade setup you can very easily see the the high and the low of the candle if you're identifying a flat level you can then see things at a very um, a very high level of detail if you want to back out if you're looking for prior levels of support and resistance uh, this is a great uh, feature right here we can back out as far as you need to then start to look at where some of the uh, the ultimate lows might be and then where some of the uh, the highs might be in terms of 
defining where your support and resistance levels might be, where your stop loss location might be, or where even some of your profit targets might be. And on this last chart, you'll notice that it's really just the same setup as this previous chart that we're looking at right here. The only thing I've done is just manipulated some of the colors to uh, conform with, you know, I typically like to trade from, uh, from a black background. Just find it to be a little easier on the eyes uh, when you're looking at screens uh, for several hours a day. And so that's just the way I do it. You might be a little different. And the way that you do that is just going up here and clicking on this box. And depending on where you have it highlighted, it'll pop up differently. So if I click on the background, then it'll give me all of the background color choices, which are fairly numerous, if you can see from here. So one thing that you can do is just click on the background color, and you can go in and change that. So I just changed that from the white that it was here and just changed it to the new color of black. You can go in, you can adjust this background grid color to make it lighter or darker, um, whatever is more appealing to your eye. But so a lot of uh, things here just about uh, how you like to see the charts in terms of the colors and, and how you do things. I changed up some of the, um, the colors here on the candles to do the same thing so that they'll show up a lot better on the black background as opposed to the way it was set up previously on the white. So all this is very easy to do with a very simple uh, user interface within OEC Trader to get the charts configured exactly the way you like to see them. So if you're interested in learning more about chart patterns and technical trading, uh, check out the OpenEcry website under Education and look for other trading videos and webinars, or you can call customer service for more information and educational events. Thanks for watching OpenEcry's Trading Education.